Good morning, everybody. Uh, let's start our meditation practice first. Uh, please find your comfortable and relaxed posture. <coughs> Keep your back straight as much as you can and gently close your eyes. Take a few deep and long breaths and relax your whole body. Relax your mind. Relax your whole body from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Observe all the different part of your body individually and see if they are relaxed, free from tension or strain. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out softly. Please do it few times. It's really helpful to relax your whole body. And to calm down your mind. Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully. Relax. 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 Let's practice loving-kindness meditation. Think to yourself, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. May I be well, May I be happy, may I be peaceful. Understand the meaning of each words deeply and clearly and repeat them to yourself. Be loving and kind person to yourself. May I be healthy, 
May I be content. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with loving kindness. Practicing self-love, self-loving kindness is greatest way to heal ourself within. If you become truly loving and kind person to yourself, it's much easier to love others. Feel peaceful and loving thoughts to yourself. May I be healthy, may I be content, may I be peaceful, may I be filled with loving kindness. Wish to yourself and bless to yourself. Now think about your family, your friends and your loved ones, imagining them individually. May my parents, husband or wife, boyfriend or girlfriend, children, grandchildren, best friend, close friends, neighbors, co-workers, brothers and sisters, and your pets. Imagine your own family, friends, and send your loving thoughts. May all my family, friends, and loved ones be well, be happy, be peaceful. May they be healthy, may they be content, may they be peaceful, may they be 
filled with loving kindness. If you have any difficult people in your life, maybe it could be one of your family member, or one of your friend who close to you, as a loving kindness practitioner, without separating them, try to send your loving thoughts. May my difficult people be well, be happy. Be peaceful. May they be filled with loving kindness. Now extend all of your loving kindness and compassionate thoughts to all the world. Think about in this world, so many people are suffering mentally and physically. Some people are in sickness, in danger, in fear, anger, in hatred. Some people are in hunger, thirst. Some people, they don't have family, friends. They don't have basic needs. In this moment, we couldn't help them physically, but we can send our loving thoughts. We can wish to them and bless to them. May all living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. May all living beings be healthy, may they be content, may they be peaceful, may they be filled with loving kindness.
Now, with your loving awareness, slowly turn your attention to your subtle sensation of the breath, your natural, ordinary breath. Take in and out each breath mindfully. Understand about this moment. In this present moment, you are spend time with yourself focusing yourself your breath that mean your life being mindful about each moment while you are practicing so many sound thoughts emotions feelings come to your mind let them come and go or let them be try to focus your natural ordinary breath if you are having so many thoughts don't try to push them away we couldn't empty our mind just be mindful about your thoughts and slowly and gently and be patient with yourself try to focus your in and out breath paying attention to the tip of your nose breathe in mindfully breathe out mindfully while you are focusing your breath you may experience long breaths in and out short breaths in and out when you are having long breath understand and being mindful i am having long breath when you are having short breath paying attention i am having short breath be mindful about breathing process breathe in mindfully breathe out mindfully
mind wander mind's nature is wandering if you are distracted by your thoughts bring your thoughts back to the breath present moment breathe in mindfully breathe out mindfully <clears throat>
Now your mind and body are relaxed, peaceful and calm. Think about important it is to practice this meditation every day. Keep in yourself happy, peaceful, tranquil and balanced. Please bring your palms together in front of your heart. Make a strong determination to practice every day at least 5-10 minutes. May peace be with you. May all living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. Thank you very much. Please slowly open your eyes. Let's do our chanting practice. If you would like to chant, you can chant together or you can practice, continue your practice. <clears throat> Namo tasa bhagavato arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Buddhang Saranang Gachami Dhammang Saranang Gachami Sangang Saranang Gachami Dute ampe buddhang saranang gachami Dute ampe dhammang saranang gachami Dute ampe sangang saranang gachami Tate ampe buddhang saranang gachami. Tate ampe dhammang saranang gachami. Tate ampe sangang saranang Anicca vat sankara upad vaya dhammino upajitva nirujjanti te sang upasamo sukho sabhe satha Avera hantu sabbe satha abhya pajya hantu sabbe satha aniga hantu sabbe satha Sukiyatta nang pariharantu Mano pubbamma Mano se padupasati va Tato nang dukkha manveti Vahato padam Mano Pubbangamama Mano Setha Mano Maya Mano Sache Pasanena Basativa Karotiva 
tato nang sukha man veti chaya va anapahaini We believe you. My wish. Good morning, everybody. So, how are you this morning? <laughs> uh, and also, how was your practice? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, today uh, I'm going to talk about the, my topic is a truck. Lord of Dung. <laughs> I read a book, that's a book name, Opening the Door of Your Heart. There's a famous meditation teacher, uh, Ajahn Brahman So. Um, that's a really interesting story. Uh, before that, I want to share with you one of great meditation teachers, uh, a court. Um, life is full of ups and downs, good times and bad times. You have to find the strength to move on and believe that the next chapter of your life will be amazing. Uh, because this is uh, really important for uh, all of us to understand our life, what's going through in our life. Um, just for example, it could be a happy person or uh, one who get depressed, something having difficult time, is how they respond to disaster, whatever going through difficult time. It could be a happy person or unhappy person. How to respond to disaster, whatever going through negativities. Because always life is changing. We talk about impermanence. And also in the Buddha's teaching, the base teaching, uh, a base teaching is four noble truth. Whether we like or not, <laughs> the truth talk about the suffering. 
we, we can call different names. It's pain or uh, disaster, tragedy or anxiety, depression, stress, whatever we can name, call it, it's a suffering. Life is full of suffering. We like it or not. <laughs> I'm not talking about uh, what is the pessimistic negative side. Why is very important as a practitioner without avoiding the problem we have to find the root why we are suffering why we have stress why we get pain why we are fearful why we get anxious why we get depressed otherwise uh, find a deep into ourselves that's our practice otherwise we complain into the world not to uh, understanding our inside, our inner world. Going to this sitting practice is really helpful, but deeper understanding about ourselves and fixing the problem and how to handle this life. This example in Buddha's teaching, Buddha said someone went to this uh, ocean. This is really good uh, metaphor example. Go to the ocean. And he want to get the he or she want to get the nice bath in the ocean. Uh, then the person is waiting. The waves going to stop. Then I'm going to bath. Is that going to happen? <laughs> no. There's a clever person. What to do? The enjoying the the beautiful ocean, going through the that. Um, the waves get the bath and get fun and enjoy. That's the same like a life. Life sometimes is calm down, sometimes is full of waves, up and downs. Uh, that's the nature of our life. Otherwise, we stuck with it and we get, we create all the suffering. Um, I want to start the topic. The truckload of dung. <laughs> uh, just, just imagine you had a really wonderful, nice day. It's a sunny day in the beach with your best friends. You are having wonderful and having nice time. You are playing with uh, and also. Um, you are having sun bath or whatever your favorite thing in the on the beach. You are so happy, and and the end of the day, you you are waiting and you see the sunset and it's it's the, your best day ever. It was <laughs> then end of the day you came to the home. You see, <laughs> in front of your house, there's a truck load of dung dumped in the front of the door. How you feel? <laughs> How you feel? You get, maybe you get so angry or so upset or so disappointed. You lost, you lost your all happy, you, you were so happy in the whole day, but in that moment, you lost your mind. There's a three things to know about this tractor of dam. First one, you did not order it. <laughs> it, it's not your fault. That's the first thing. Second one, you are stuck with it. No one show who dumped it. So you cannot call anyone to take it away. That's the second thing. Third one, it is filthy and offensive and it is stench fill your whole house. <laughs> it is almost impossible to endure. That's the three things to know about the, the structure of dung. In this metaphor, the truck load of dung 
in front of your house stand for the traumatic experience that are dumped on us in life as with the truckload of dung there are three things to know about tragedy in our life three things about tragedy in our life okay first one we did not order it <laughs> then but we say why me whatever pain or suffering or what happening we are questioning ourselves why me what happened to me we questioning ourselves that's the first one the second one we stuck with it that's the we really really understand we really really into it why why uh we are stuck with it no one even our best friends can take it away maybe though they may try the friends or family who close to us they may try but they couldn't help maybe it's help they can help to take it away <laughs> third one it is so awful such a destroy our happiness and it's pain feel of whole life it is almost impossible to en- endure it is impossible to handle when we are having tragedy that's the that's the three thing we are going through okay uh this the i i told you that's the main point is we are stuck with it there's a two way we can do the first one is uh carrying around the dung <laughs> we can have it dung in our bags and in our pockets and uh in our um with our shirt pockets and we can carrying around it <laughs> what happen we get it stinky smelly no one close to us no one like to us even though our best friends it's like a stinky uh stuck into the depression or negativity or anger think about if you are having negativity or anger or depression no one like it and also what happen other people even though they are they don't they if if they want to help they couldn't help because they don't like the person how behave how talk how uh that's the first way we can do we can carrying on the down <laughs> second one down to work or digging in the down what we have to do oh before that i want to mention what we are doing before second way most of time what we are do we are we want to avoid it we stop the car we saw the truck load of dung there then we want to we don't want to pass it oh i am done i'm i'm leaving i am trying to away most of time we are do like that we want to avoid it just example we want to forget our problem maybe we can travel somewhere <laughs> but one day we have to come back again to home <laughs> maybe when we come back it get more worse more stinky and okay uh that's that's the most of time we are doing but the the second way is the most important thing digging uh in the dung what we have to do get the wheelbarrow and get the shovel and get the spreader take a heave sign i have to do it <laughs> get the strength encourage ourselves this is the most important thing get the shovel and maybe per day half of wheelbarrow not the whole huge whole pile of dung maybe that little by little half of wheelbarrow what we have to do take it to the our back of the house the beautiful garden there 
put into the, our the flowers. There's a corner of the, in the garden, there's a fruit tree. We can put the, the down in around the trees. What going to happen day by day? You are working on it, little by little you are taking uh, maybe half a wheelbarrow, maybe you have more energy, more strength, maybe you are taking you are half of things you are taking. But the good thing, little by little, you are taking. And uh, one day it's coming. It's maybe this is the very important thing. Little by little, you can take it. Oh, uh, so it's it's take time. Maybe several years. Maybe within one week. That's the your inner strength. Maybe finally, the one day you can see all of dung you took to the your garden. You spread around the, your beautiful flower trees and also the fruit trees. You took time. You are working on it. It's, it's most important thing. You are patiently. You are doing it. You are working on it. What happened after a little while? The benefit. The your garden become. So beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful flowers, brass thing, bursting, and it's become so beautiful. And your fruit trees become so full of fruits. It's become, you couldn't buy anywhere that kind of uh, fresh fruit. So because of that, who's around you? your family, friends, who's maybe passing by your home, they are, because we are not carrying anymore the dung. <laughs> we use it. What we did, this is the really important thing, what we did, we welcome to the strategy as a fertilizer for our life. We use as fertilizer. Then who's around us, they become they are appreciating, oh, you have a beautiful garden. It smells so good, flowers, very colorful. You have, you can share your fruits with the friends and families. We can get that metaphor to our practice. When you are working on your inner world with your problems, you understand it, you acknowledge your, uh, Difficulties, your problems, it could be anger, fear, depression, anxiety, whatever going through, you are working on it with this practice. Who's around us, they feel your kindness and compassion and also your goodness, they feel it. They, you become my, you become encouraged person. You become, you are going to help other people to take their dung out. <laughs> it is really important thing about our practice. Um, then finally, you may think, the next time, strategy occur in your life, you may say, OP, more fertilizer for my garden. <laughs> Whenever strategies, difficulties come, you can think your perspective, oh, more fertilizer for my garden, without getting stuck in it. You are working on it. Get the sour. Let's work. <laughs> that's that's the our practice. That's the our practice. Uh, that's the we are we all working on it here. 
without practice. Don't worry about the time. It's take time. It's take time. Maybe, but uh, find the strength to move on. That's the most important step. Not to stuck on it in the problem. How to move on? We need a lot of qualities. Loving kindness, aware, self-awareness, mindfulness to move on. That's the build up the strength. We all need that strength. Maybe some days, oh no, we are working on it, we're going to fail. It is okay. Again, we can try. We can encourage ourselves, find the strength, little by little work on it. This is rather than complaining, mostly what happened. When we get, we are in problem, out of world, try to take you down. <laughs> no one going to help. If you are happy, or oh, everyone, oh, come to you. That's, that's the secret of this practice. <laughs> Understand this very important message and for all of us and uh, keep practice and be patient with yourself. Uh, that's the uh, we can we can work on dig in the digging to the dung, <laughs> get the shovel and work on every day little by little. I think you got the message. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, okay, do we have new people today? Any new people? Okay, thank you so much, everybody. I mean, this morning, practice with us. We have a lot of things going on at the temple. Uh, if you are not receiving our email, please write down your email and there's a book. You will receive our weekly email and or you can go to the bulletin board. There's a, um, all the information there. You can go to the website, Facebook page, and uh, we have a uh, coming open house and also international dinner fundraiser and also moonlight meditation. A lot of exciting things coming up. Uh, please um, check on this and keep your days, and you can help different ways to us. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you.